Got a podcast to listen to but don't want to stop gaming? Here are the best games to multitask with. Let's face it, we live in a time-poor and content-rich world, so it's natural to want to do more than one thing at once. With so many audiobooks, podcasts, TV shows and movies, there has to be a better way to enjoy all the media you want to consume. Let's quantify though that it takes a very specific kind of game to be able to listen to a podcast or even enjoy a TV show or movie at the same time. You don't want anything with a story that you're going to miss out on, or something where all of your brain is required. Puzzles are fine, but nothing too strenuous. While podcasts and audiobooks are ideal for collectible hunting in Assassin's Creed or grinding in Destiny 2, we're leaving them off this list because they're very activity dependent. Here then are the best games to pop on your second screen while you're doing something else. No more moves. Let's kick off with a fun puzzler that makes an ideal brain a compliment. We actually feature Doff Romantic in our latest list of the most relaxing games and it's the perfect way to wind your brain down as you spin tiles of forest, towns, water and train tracks. The aim of the game is simple, just connect the right number of items and you'll earn more tiles to place. It's just the right balance of thinking and peaceful activity which means it's a perfect puzzler for enjoying while you're listening to a podcast or keeping an eye on a bingeable TV show. The good thing is that there's no time limits either, so if things get a bit exciting on screen, Dwarf Romantic is just waiting for you when you go back. Just don't blame us when you have a weird association between your latest audiobook and connecting adorable train tracks. It turns out that House Flipper and all of its associated DLCs actually make perfect games to play with podcasts on in the background, because you'd probably pop the radio on while doing these tasks in real life. Whether you're painting walls, washing windows, or out in the garden, House Flipper's satisfying activities are a wonderful way to get a sense of true satisfaction as well as binging your latest podcast addiction. Or finally orally reading that book that your friend recommended three years ago. You might even manage to train your brain to feel productive and actually move on to the real things that you've done in your flat. Oh, and it's not out yet, but Power Wash Simulator, soon to be in early access, will be perfect too. Just look how clean you can make things. Ah, <sighs> so satisfying. It's our list and we'll put a stack of games in one entry if we want to. We wouldn't normally cheat like this, but a few publishers are as good at creating magnificent interactive fidget cubes as PopCap. Whether it's the glorious Match 3 diamonds and gems of Bejeweled 3, spinning a ball spewing frog in Zuma's Revenge, or soiling your plants in the original Plants vs Zombies, these are the kind of games that mean you can happily half your brain. One side will be listening to your audiobook while the other is utterly involved in progressing to the next level. You can jump in, keep your eyes and mind busy, but without having to truly use every part of your brain. And quite frankly, you don't have to give us an excuse to return to Crazy Dave. We missed you. Sure, you could jump in your spacecraft heading to unknown planets with lo-fi synth beats and atmosphere in your ears, but truthfully, you know if this was real life, you'd definitely have a podcast or six on. Just imagine there's a built-in streaming service in your helmet and suddenly No Man's Sky is a perfect place to enjoy your favourite stories. Riding across a mysterious landscape on a creature you've decided to name Cuthbert can only be made better by listening to real-world affairs. That's what you left behind on Earth. Isn't it wonderful to be free? Here with only Cuthbert for company. Hmm. Maybe make sure you're listening to something that guarantees you actually want to come back from an infinite procedural universe. Just a thought. Once you settle into the Binding of Isaac, you'll suddenly realise that you're in it for the long haul. One run is never enough, and whichever DLC you're playing, you'll quickly discover that there's always more to discover. There's always one more dive into the basement, more enemies to dissolve, more horrific bosses to discover, more powers to combine. And as you reach that terrifying flow state, you'll realise that you have lost five hours. We aren't encouraging you to stop, please keep going until you find Mega Satan, but you'll probably feel a little bit better about it all if you combined it with some stories or news in audio form. Of everything on this list, you definitely won't be able to watch TV or a movie, even blinking is risky here, but something oral is definitely possible. You might just have to pause it for the bosses. A bit like when you have to turn down your music to park the car, but with more feces. 
Another one where we don't suggest taking your eyes off the road, or, well, this will happen, is Euro Truck Simulator 2. What better way to while away your long haul trips across entire countries than with dramatic stories, current affairs, or true crime capers? Driving is the perfect way to get your brain in a relaxed state and catch up with the backlog of podcasts you've got sitting on your streaming services. And this is the case in both real life and digital form. We love this combination, especially with the chill vibes of Euro Truck Simulator 2 as you choose your favorite routes and taking the scenery. Plus, you can choose to make it even more realistic with the Logitech G923 true force wheel and pedals. Also installing a phone holder if your media is optional, but we definitely won't judge you. The thing about setting your own goals on a game like Valheim is that we really love the active monotony and patterns of survival games. That makes them great partners for podcasts and other media. Once you're comfortable building and with your daily schedule, your fictitious life in purgatory actually becomes a perfect place to consume all the stories you used to listen to on a daily commute. Now you're just listening when you're growing food, tending to the animals, or just on another jaunt to get some more wood. You just know that if Vikings could listen to podcasts, they'd head straight straight to the food and drink categories. Go on, see what you can find about making and drinking meat. So that's seven games you can happily play while doing something else. Let us know your favorite games to match up with other media in the comments below, drop us a like if you're going straight back to Plants vs Zombies, and subscribe to Logitech G for more videos just like this one.